Hello everyone and welcome back. It is Monica and I am back today doing a beaded resin keychain video. And so I picked up a new mold from Let's Resin. Like they're like the it girl now, I guess, when it comes to resin molds. And so I picked this up on Amazon. I will leave a link to it below. And so, yeah, this is like a big letter, like capital letter mold. And it came with the, the extenders. But yeah, this is a really nice mold. Let's 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 just keep it real. Let's resin really be it. When it comes to the letter molds, like that is their thing. And so, like I said, this is like an uppercase. I'm calling it an uppercase letter mold, and it already has the hole in there. So if you don't have or you don't have a desire to use the hand drill, you don't have to because the hole is going to be in it, which is what what I really liked. Because I don't know if I told y'all this. But one time when I was making keychains and I was like doing like an order, I actually stabbed myself with my hand drill, like between like my, like my skin and my nail. It was very painful and it kind of made me frightened of making more keychains because I was very scared of stabbing myself again. Um, and I'm heavy handed. So I'm always, you know, you got to put pressure to put that hole in the, in the resin, in the cured resin. So Definitely happy that I found this mold. So I'm going to be doing like, I just wanted to do all ombre with chunky glitter. Like y'all, I think I have an obsession with chunky glitter ombres. And so that is opal, which I'm pretty sure I have an opal obsession as well. Um, I even have opal on my nails right now as I speak. Um, so yeah, so that is the opal and I'm using, I'm just using the total boat resin. Shout out to total boat. They sent me some new stuff that I'm going to be doing. So you guys look out for that. It's going to be a furniture project. So be on the lookout for that. I'll, hopefully I can get it done in June. I wanted to do it this month uh, for May. I don't know when this video is going live, but I wanted to do it in the month of May. But the weather here in Colorado did not hold up. And so that's clueless, chunky. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do it in May, but we actually had snow this month. And so when I'm doing like a furniture resin pro project, it has to be at least in the 60s and I can kind of get my garage in the 70s so it can cure correctly. But the weather is, it did not hold up for the beginning of May when I wanted it done because I really wanted it done June 1st. But now I'm just rambling and giving y'all a whole backstory about something I need, can't even show you that I'm doing. <laughs> That's only a concept in my head at this point. And so I added, it, so let me get back to the video. So I just added in some clueless fine and so just, I don't, y'all, y'all, I have a glitter company. I'm a, I'm a, I have an obsession. And so, uh, the chunky glitter still look good, but I feel like they leave a lot of like space if you don't put a bunch. And so in order to prevent not having to use a bunch of glitter, I like to fit back, fill it with a little bit of fine glitter to take up that space a little bit. And that is sunburst, which is a, another iridescent. So shout out to all the iridescents, the opals, whatever you want to call them but we love them all here. So yeah, and then I was like, ooh, I need one more color because I had more resin left. And so uh, I poured in some more. And those little cups are just did like the Dollar Tree mouthwash cups in case anyone is wondering. And so I'm going to do a Black to the Future uh, mix too. And I did, I don't know if I have it on camera here, but I did add a little bit of the fine. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't show it, but I did add some of the fine. And so I'm going to just show you guys how I did these ombres. I was kind of just like, go for it. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of like, I had a vision, but didn't have a vision. Like with this M I knew I wanted like a true ombre. Whereas when I did that first F y'all know me, I don't, I always start a project with a vision and it never goes how I plan. Uh, so yeah, I just was kind of like, Hmm. And I'm once I, cause when I did the F I'm like, Oh, that's not really what I wanted. I'm like, okay, focus M we can do this. And so, yeah. So now I'm, I feel like now like I'm on a roll. <laughs> so yeah, I'm like, Ooh, split H. I think I did the rest ombre, but yeah, I was just like, yes. So I, I'm literally just pinching the cup. Oh, this P I loved. I kind of did it like striped kinda. You can't, you can't mess up. I know, like, I get, like, my, my other keychain videos, I get a lot of questions, and it's like, y'all, just go for it. What's the worst that could happen? You have to let it cure in the mold and try again tomorrow. It'll be all good. And someone's inevitably gonna, also going to ask me about UV resin. Yes, you can do it with UV re resin as well, much quicker. Um, I don't know why. Like, UV resin is cool, but I just, like, I don't know, for the molds, I like the whole sitting around and waiting 
because I'm strange. So yeah, so just showing y'all a nice little varietal of what I got going on. There's no rhyme. There are some letters that are specifically going to people uh, that I chose, which were the first four letters that you saw. Um, but these other ones, I just had, I had mixed up so much resin. And I only, I think I only did like four pumps. Um, if you're familiar with the 5-in-1 pump system that Total Boat has, which was a lot of resin for this mold. I think I ended up getting like probably 10 or 12 letters. So yeah, I probably, if I needed to do just the four that I needed, I probably could have did one or two pumps and been good. But yeah, it's just like, why am I making an X? I don't have a clue. But it was there, and I thought it would look really cool for an ombre, so I am I have the materials, and so I'm just going to make it. And, like, if you have a business, and you have, like, you're doing these, and you have leftover resin, just make it in, like, a popular letter, like an A or a B, you know, for the Ashleys and the Britneys, and just put it up as ready to ship. So just a little business tip on that one. And then when I did this U, I was like, dang it, I should have did the L, and it could have been a Lakers L. <laughs> I could have took like a little vinyl, put Lakers on it, and did that one ready to ship. All right, so my camera cut off. So this is the part where we're actually going to do the beading part. So this was actually a request from Magic by Caitlin. Hey, girl. Um, I had put up a poll on Instagram asking y'all what video y'all wanted to see, and she was the only person that responded. So thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so this is going to be my take on beaded keychains. Unfortunately, my camera corrupted the footage of most of this. So I do have one set of footage and I don't know if y'all remember these balls that I'm showing, but back in the early two thousands, the girls on basketball wives have popularized those earrings. And I used to always go to the hair store and get them because I was obsessed with them. And I'm just very thankful that Michael still had them. I'm like, mm, going to make a keychain with these. And so, I admittedly don't know how to make jewelry. As y'all know, I admittedly don't know how to do a lot of things. But we're all here learning. And so, I'm like, hmm, don't know. And please ignore my nails. I was in the process of taking off my nails and putting on new nails. Uh, so, yeah. And so, what I did, I took one of these little beads. And it's so hard to focus. Uh, so, I'm going to try to talk through it the best I can. So, I took the littlest bead that I had. I looped the wire through it and I got the wire from Hobby Lobby. You can also get it at Michael's. I'll just be going to both stores. So this is a combination of Michael's and Hobby Lobby. And then I strung it back through to loop it around. And then now what I'm doing is twisting it. If only, if only the camera would cooperate. So I can, so you can see, cause you know, this is a video platform. So yeah, I might need to consider getting a different lens. Oh, my husband's going to have to tell me with that. My husband is actually the technology guy, believe it or not. And no, he's not an engineer like me, funny enough. Okay, so now you can kind of see what I did. So now I'm just going to loop the beads through. And so I kind of left some of like the, the second piece that's kind of looped through that bottom piece. Just to help give it some stability. And it's crazy, y'all. I tried to find, like, a video on, like, just even how to make a beaded bracelet. And the, the jewelry girls are so advanced in the videos. After I got to, like, the third video and I didn't have a clue still what to do or what to buy, I said, you know what? I'm winging it. Anybody that comes and watches these videos, y'all know I wing it anyways. And those videos were no help to me. And so I'm just going to wing it. And it sucks because I feel like I had a really good technique by the time I got to the, like the third one I did. And the footage is corrupted. I can't even play it back on my camera, unfortunately. So, yeah, I'll just show you what I did with this one. Like I said, maybe we'll do like a live stream or something. Because we can do like UV resin letters and then still do the beading and we can all hang out. Let me know if that would be something y'all are interested in. Maybe we can start doing. I, I want to start doing live streams. It's just, you know, life. All right. So I went ahead and put those few beads on there I'm trying to create like a pattern and so you can see I still still have the double piece so what I did also is that 
um, because I didn't want it to like stab anyone. So I went ahead and snipped the like the second, the double wireness of it all. I went ahead and snipped it so it would hide underneath the the big ball. So yeah, that's what you see me doing. So just snip that so it can hide underneath there and that way it won't be like all stabby. And I'm gonna just keep creating this pattern uh, throughout the wire. So I think I did three of the little small metallic -y ones and then one of the big ones. Might have been four. I don't remember, but y'all see it. And like, there's no rhyme or reason. It's kind of like whatever you want to do. Um, I just found beads that spoke to my soul. And those are the ones that I went with. So yeah, I'm going to speed it up just a little bit, not to bore you guys, because beading is very repetitive unless you're like, doing some really fly stuff which you know my beading is still on basic don't judge me I'm doing the best I can oh and just really quickly I don't know if you guys noticed but all of the beads that I bought were on clearance they were all like 50% off or more so if you go to Michael's to get them definitely look for those little blue tags because you can save money that way and we're all about saving money y'all okay so all finished with that so now what I am going to do is I actually made a knot. I don't know what else to do to tell you the truth. I'm like, well, <laughs> a knot seems like it'll work. And ugh, my camera work is terrible. There's going to be people in the comments so mad at me talking about we can't see like, girl, I'm here talking. I'm, I'm, t I'm telling you what I'm doing. So I made a knot right at the end as close as I could to the end. I didn't want too much movement because again, remember we have that that little wire piece that's like kind of stabby. So we don't want it to move too much to expose that and potentially hurt someone or like rip the inside of your purse or anything like that. So I created this little knot at the end because that just seemed like the right thing to do, you know? And I pushed really hard like with the bead up against it to make sure that it wouldn't come undone and it didn't. Only thing I would suggest maybe is like a heavier wire. This wire was like really kind of like thinnish. And so I had these lobster clamps um, because, again, I didn't really know what I was doing. So I bought everything that seems like it was something that I could use. Um, I don't know the correct way to use these things again. Remember, this is a Monica Struggle tutorial. I might make this into a series like Monica Struggle tutorial kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm just going to like loop this around and figure it out. Or not loop it around. And again, ignore my nails. I can't believe I came on camera like that. Shame on me. <laughs> All right. So I'm looping it. I looped it through like you would like shrink it normally. And now I'm looping it back through and creating another loop through it. And so once I have that, like it kind of looped, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just take the wire and kind of wrap it around itself to make sure that it doesn't like move too much. It'll still have some flexibility because this wire is still very flexible, but it'll make sure that like it doesn't come untied, which is the biggest thing here. You don't want to lose your beads. So yeah, if anybody knows like of a good jewelry beading tutorial like if you've seen one that's like very beginner friendly and like I could follow someone who is usually on the struggle bus with crafting but always makes it works and it turns out great for me please leave a link to it below I would love to see it um but yeah I just feel like there isn't much out there so what I did was I had to do it off camera because I had to use I end up using needle nose tweezers but I did like the double loop thing again and I shoved it back down through the top two beads so just know that I did do that again I had to do it off camera all right and so look at these letters I just want to show you a few these are not the ones that I end up these were just like the random ones that I had extra resin for but look at them they're so good they're so good 
Oh, I should have did an S for the Steelers in the black and gold. So Lakers U. And this is just in like regular light. They look so good. This is a really bomb mold. I love the size. You can see the size and I have very large hands. Oh yeah, y'all didn't get to see me do that. When I did the triple ombre too, that's when my camera had cut off at that point. I didn't realize it. My camera's not made. Ever since it fell, it's not the same. And then I even did like a clear ombre one. Look at that. Ah. I wish the ombre would have like ombre a little more, but it's still cute. All right, y'all. So here's the other ones that I did off camera that I don't have the footage for. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry, but just know the concept was pretty much the same. I did. I didn't use the lobster clips on any more of them because I just felt it was unnecessary. But yeah. So thank you, Magic by Caitlin, for your suggestion. This is my take on what would be beaded keychains. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it was entertaining and I hope that you learned some things. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and come and join our little family. Also, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and what you want to see next. Check out our glitter at period6glitter.com. Follow me on Instagram at period6designs. You can also follow me on TikTok with the young kids at period6glitter. And I will see you guys in the next one.